she went Shh. yes y'all at the time i was so drunk i didn't feel it welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is tasha if you're new and welcome back to another video before i do begin this video i just want to thank y'all so much for getting me to 1k subscribers and me being official on youtube i truly truly appreciate it so y'all this took place in college i think it was honestly my it was my freshman year it was my freshman year in college i had a group of friends it was me um previous story time with stank stank my worst roommate ever stank stank and it was alexis and she was also in my story time um about my ex breaking into my apartment so i've already made story times about them two before but it's many more to come me stank stank and alexis we were real close real tight in college and it was alexis's birthday one weekend and she wanted to go to the club it was the day of the party me alexis and stank stank we all went to the mall try to get a cute little outfit for the weekend that was back when charlotte roos was popping like charlotte roos was popping you could have got the heels for twenty dollars and then you a little dress on the clearance rack and then you was good to go like as long as you know how to do a little natural beat you was good to go like you was good to go good old days me and charlotte roos we getting our little outfits and heels together and stuff like that we in the mall right and this boy he comes walking past and he hands us flyers for a club talking about come to the club tonight and we like oh i'm like oh alexis is this the club that we supposed to be at tonight for your birthday and she's like oh yeah we already gonna be there and so he gets over to me and he's like oh, okay he was like well come see me when you get there he told me his name you can sit in my section tonight let me know when you get there and i'm like okay so as i was walking off from him you know guys when you give them like when they give you their number they be wanting you to call them right then and there to make sure you ain't give them no fake number or nothing so he gave me his number or whatever and I tried to walk away and he was like, nah, he was like, put it in your phone and go ahead and call me. So I'm like, okay. So I went ahead and put his number in my phone and I called him so that way he had my number also. He contacted me that night while I was getting ready for the club. And so he called me and I'm like, hey, what's up or whatever. And me and him sitting, talking, having a conversation and stuff. And he was like, oh, when are you leaving for the club? Do you need me to come pick you up? And I'm like, no, I'll meet you down there because me, Alexis, Stank Stank, and then all of Alexis's family and friends back home, they were in town, so we all just got a section in the club. So I'm like, I'll just let you know when I get there because we already have our section and stuff like that, and it's my friend's birthday. So I wasn't really trying to be around him the whole night. I was trying to celebrate my friend's birthday. So I get there, and I didn't text him, but I was up at the bar. Me, Alexis, Stank Stank, um, and Alexis's brothers, Alexis's brothers, they were at the bar that was buying us drinks back and forth. Like they were just at the bar buying drinks and then passing them back so that everybody could have drinks and stuff. So I already had like two drinks in my hand and then they're sitting there trying to pass me more. And so I get a tap on my shoulder and I turn around and it's him. Me and him having conversation. He's like, why you ain't let me know when you get here? And I'm like, it's really my friend's birthday. I'm honestly trying to just chill and just, you know, celebrate her birthday because you know, tonight is about her or whatever. And so he was like, oh, okay. He was like, I understand. He was like, let me buy you a drink though. And I'm like, I already got two drinks in my hand right now. Like, let me wait till I finish these two drinks. And then, you know, you can buy me a drink or whatever. And there we sitting there talking and stuff. And I had like a little shot in my hand. I took the shot and then I put it back on the bar and I put it down. And so he's like, oh, okay, well, you ready for your next drink? Then I'm like, okay, I guess. So he went and he brought me a drink or whatever. I stood right beside him just in case, you know, he ain't had no Jeffrey Dahmer shit going on. So I stood right beside him or whatever while he was buying my drink just to make sure I was good to drink the drink. Because, you know, people be crazy. So I took the drink from him or whatever. We sit and we talking and stuff. And... My friend Alexis was like, okay, Tasha, I'm about to go back to the section because she had already got her little drinks and stuff like that. And she was like, I'm about to go back to the section. So she, her and Stank Stank go to the section and all of Alexis's friends. By this time, I'm already drunk, y'all. Like, I'm already drunk. I told him, I'm like, look, I'm going to catch up with you. It's my friend's birthday and she about to go sit down. So I'm about to go sit down with her. But I'm going to catch up with you. He's like, all right, cool. So I'm sitting over in our section and I'm dancing this up. My song, come on, little one-two stuff damn i'm sitting there or whatever dancing my little song come on he see me like turning up in the section or whatever so he come across because his section was like directly across from ours so he come over or whatever me and him start talking and stuff and he had a bottle over in his section he was like you want to drink from the bottle this is and that and at his section it was him 
it was him, another guy, and then a whole group of girls. So I didn't really feel comfortable because I'm like, why are you inviting me over here with a group of girls? And you and your friend, obviously, you know, you talking to one of them females. So I ain't really trying to, you know, get into nothing or whatever. And so I'm like, yeah, I'll come. But, you know, is everything cool? Like, is is it will it be okay if I do come with everybody else? And he's like, yeah, that'd be all right. So I go over there or whatever. And as soon as I sit down, like, females, like, looking at me, rolling their eyes, scrunching up their face, like, like, just scrunching up, just giving me the stank face, y'all, like, real ugly, like, like, real ugly. <laughs> so, so I'm like, damn, why are you looking at me like this? So I sit down or whatever, he sit down beside me, and I felt kind of comfortable because, like, he wanted me there, and I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have invited me over there if he was fucking with a female, you know in the section or whatever, he would not have invited me over there. So I was thinking, if I get over there, if you know me, you know, you know, I love me some hookah, like literally love hookah. So I'm sitting down, I see, you know, they got two hookahs in a section and over there, I ain't even, we ain't had no hookahs cause I didn't even know they had hookahs there. So I'm like, can I hit y'all hookah or whatever? So the girls, they stood there like just staring at me, did not answer me or nothing. And so I'm looking, I'm like, okay. So I asked him, I'm like, can I hit your hookah? And so he was like, that's not my hookah, that's they hookah. And so I was like, oh, okay. So I didn't say nothing because it's like I already asked them and they didn't say anything. So obviously you don't want me to hit your hookah. So I guess like he felt, you know, that was a little weird or whatever that they didn't say anything. So he offered to buy me a hookah and I'm like, okay, cool. Thank you. So he bought me a hookah and I'm sitting there smoking a the hookah. And then the bartender comes around with the bottle that the sec that he had bought for the section or whatever and he comes and he he's pouring the um shots and stuff like that so when they get to me i hold my little cup up because you know i want me a little shoddy shot too like pour me up some so the girls like uh-uh uh-uh and try to move my hand away y'all like literally try to move my hand away like uh-uh uh -uh, you ain't put it on this bottle you ain't put it on this bottle you think you about to drink for free i'm like oh, okay fine like I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Like, it's perfectly fine. Like, you know, my me and my friends got a section across from y'all, so I can go over there and drink. It's really not that serious or whatever. I'm only over here because your friend invited me. And so, damn, the female didn't say nothing else to me at all. So, he's like, nah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And he picks up the bottle and he pours my shot inside of my cup. And so, the female's looking at me, screw facing me, and just looking at me all crazy. And I'm like, fuck it. Sit back, drink my little drink, cross my legs, get comfortable, drink my little drink. Like, these bitches don't like me for some apparent reason, and I don't know why it is. So, I'm sitting there drinking, smoking a little hookah. Next thing I know, a song comes on. I think it was, um... It was them. All I want for my birthday is a big booty hoe. <laughs> it was a little two chain song, a birthday song, and it was my friend's birthday. So I'm across from her. I'm across from our section or whatever, and I see her twerking and getting lit. So I put the hookah down and I run over there or whatever. And she twerking, and I'm popping her butt and stuff like that. And we just lit over there in the section. I chill over there for a little while, and then I had to go pee. Like y'all, I could not hold it no more. So bad. So we sitting over there and she twerking or whatever. Then that song come off and then another song come on and then everybody over there twerking. And then mind you, like I already said, by this time I'm already drunk. Like I'm drunk as hell. So y'all, I was so damn drunk. I'm like, look, Alexis and Stink Stink, I'm about to go over to the bathroom. Cause I was like, okay, cool. We just gonna sit here. And so I'm like, okay, go to the bathroom or whatever. And it's a line for the bathroom, y'all. Like literally a line, line so long. So, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was already drunk. And you know, once you get drunk, once you get drunk and you already gotta pee, like, that's not a good combination at all. Like, I ain't wanna pee on myself. And then it was like a one-star bathroom. Like, you know, one person go in, they come out, you go in. So, you know, it would've took forever for me to go use the bathroom. So, I'm like, oh my God, I can't do it. I know if I wait in this line, it was like over 10 people in that line. Like, I, and you know girls, they don't just go in the bathroom and pee and do what they gotta do and leave. No, they go in the bathroom, brush their hair, apply lip gloss, reapply makeup. Cause I'm one of them, I already know how girls do because I do the same exact thing when I go out. Like I'm in the bathroom, I'm checking my hair, I'm checking my makeup. And yeah, I'm retouching perfume if needed. Like, yeah, I'm doing all that. So I already know it would've took me forever to get into the bathroom. So I ain't gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The next person in line for the bathroom got out the bathroom. 
I was all the way in the back of the line. Once they got out the bathroom, y'all, I ran my ass to the bathroom and closed and locked the door. I know you fucking lying, bitch. <laughs> I closed and locked the door because I'm like, damn, like I had to pee so bad and I didn't want to pee on myself because I was like, you know what? And then me already doing that, that was already inconsiderate. I already know that was inconsiderate. Please do not comment down below and chew me out about it. I already know that was so inconsiderate of me running to the bathroom or whatever and locking the door when it was a full line and I was the last person in the line. But you know, drunk me, I'm not really thinking. I wasn't really thinking and I was just worried about me peeing so I wouldn't pee on myself. So, yes, y'all, I go to the bathroom or whatever. I come out the bathroom, and one of the girls from the section, they had called me over there. So, I come over there. The girls that were in the section, it was a total of three girls that was in the section. But one of them wouldn't really talk to me at all. But one of them, like, she was, like, the one who had, like, the stank face the whole time and was just, like, like real, like, I don't know, like real mean and mad towards me. But the other ones, like they wouldn't talk to me, but they weren't doing all that. But she was just doing the most behind it or whatever. So I get out the bathroom or whatever. And the girl who did not like me that was screw facing me, her and one of her friends that were in the section, they called me over there. So I went over there. I'm like, yeah, girl, what's up? So she dropped down. Y'all, she had a blade or something. I'm not sure. To this day, I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was at all. But she dropped down. Like, she dropped down low or whatever, and she was like, it's something on your shoe. And I'm like, what is it or whatever? And I'm bending down looking at it, y'all. She pulled out whatever it was, and she went, Shh. Yes, y'all. At the time, I was so drunk, I didn't feel it. I laid out in the middle of, like, the club. Y'all, I just dropped down, like, to the floor after she does it. Like, I'm holding my leg, and I dropped down to the floor. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, in shock, because I'm already, like, drunk. So I'm not gonna lie, when you drunk, you don't really feel stuff. Well, I know I don't. So I didn't really feel it. I was just in shock because like the only thing that I felt was like blood leaking out my leg, but I didn't really like feel pain from it. I just knew something was leaking out, but I didn't really feel pain. So I dropped down in shock, like holding my leg, dropped down in shock or whatever. And so I look up, Stank Stank and Lexus standing over me and they're like Tasha what's going on like you've been back here for a little minute you okay I'm like y'all I think I got so they look down or whatever and they see blood leaking from my leg like literally leaking from my leg because that night I had like a short dress on so I don't know why out of all places they decided to cut me in my leg but yeah so they get down or whatever and they look at it like oh my god Tasha we need to go do you know who did this to you and I'm like I was in the section with the boy that we had met earlier at the mall and also, I mean, he had some females over there and it was three females, but two of them did this to me or whatever. So they're like, okay, we about to find the females. Let's go over to their section. They're nowhere to be found, y'all, nowhere to be found. I'm sitting in the section and I'm holding my leg or whatever and Alexis and Stank Stank, they going around looking for the females and stuff. So I'm, I'm sitting in the section holding my leg like, oh my God, like, I can't believe I just got in the club, like in the club, y'all. So then they cannot find the females or whatever all of a sudden a fight breaks out in the middle of a con so the night that we had went out for her birthday it was a man performing i can't remember it was like i can't remember what the artist was but it was the guy who sung fuck around and run it up fuck around and run it up <laughs> i didn't have to sing the song but yeah y'all so he was singing in the middle of like he was performing that song in the middle of like the breakout of the fight and stuff like that. So it was a big brawl. I'm sitting in the section or whatever because like I said, my leg was like, I couldn't feel it, but I just knew something was leaking and I just didn't want to walk around the club like with blood all around. I know y'all saying like, bitch, why you ain't going home? But y'all, I didn't drive. So <laughs> y'all, I didn't drive at all. And I didn't want to be inconsiderate of her birthday because I already wasn't hurting. The only thing, I was just leaking, but I wasn't hurting. I'm looking left, I'm looking right, and I'm looking and it's a big brawl. Like I see, I don't see the girls nowhere. So I'm guessing, I still don't know to this day how the fight broke out and why it broke out, but I'm looking around and I see her brothers that came with us. Her brothers are fighting them. Everybody in the whole club fighting, but I don't see the two females that cut me or whatever. And back where she was from was literally 30 minutes from our college. So I guess everybody from the country of where she was, because they was country as hell. <laughs> everybody from where she was from back home, they came into town to where I was in school at or whatever. They came into town or whatever. And it was like a big little, big little, I guess, club 
big little, I don't know, celebration party or whatever. I don't know. But they was ratchet as shit, y'all. But yes, I got stabbed in the damn club, y'all. So I'm sitting here or whatever, holding my leg. I'm looking around. The guy who gave me his number, the little party promoter, the guy who gave me his number and told us to come to the club, nowhere to be found, y'all. Nowhere to be found at all. Everybody fighting and security just throwing people out. They're like, get out, get out, get out. Everybody's getting out and stuff. Me and my leg, we limping out the club. So I'm up with Stank Stank and Lexus and they're like, we didn't find the girls who did this to you. And I'm like... And they're like, do you know why they did this to you? And I'm like, no. Like, I was literally sitting in a section. I only said two words to them was, can I, can I, you know, smoke your hookah? And they said no and was screw facing me. And so that night, I did not call the party promoter, didn't text him or nothing. Because it's just like, why didn't you check and see if I was okay? Like, did you set this up with them? Like, what do you got going on? <laughs> like, were y'all plotting on me? Like, were you plotting to me up? Like... I don't know. Was it your idea to get me? Like, I don't know. So, I did not text the party promoter, didn't call him, nothing. So, the next day, roll around or whatever, I get a call. It was from an unknown number. So, I answered it. Normally, I don't answer unknown numbers, but I just answered it that day. It was the party promoter. He's like, oh, I was looking for you after the club. A big fight broke out. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. And I'm like, you know, your section was directly across from mine. And I was sitting in my section after I got, you know, sliced up. We, we just gonna say sliced up because I'm tired of doing this. But I was sitting across from your section and our section after I got sliced up. And so he was like, what you mean sliced up? I'm like, the girls who was sitting at your section, they sliced me up. Like they sliced my leg. He's like, nah, nah, ain't no way. Ain't no way they would do that. This isn't that. And I'm like, like, how do you know those girls? He was like, well, one of them is my baby mom. The other one is her friend. I'm like, you really in a club with your baby mama? And you invited me over to your section? What type of sense does that make? What type of sense does that make? And he's like, nah, me and my baby mama, we on good terms. She got a whole boyfriend, this, this, and that. She don't care what I do. I don't care what she do. We just on good terms. And I'm like, obviously she cares what she do because she sliced my leg. Like, she literally sliced me. I'm going to look back at my phone because this happened years ago. I honestly think 2015. Yeah, it happened 2015. So if I still have the video of my leg sliced, then I'll add it in. But yes, y'all, literally sliced me up in the club. She literally sliced me up. And I don't know, you know, if you had something to do with it. I don't know what y'all got going on. But your baby mama sliced me up when I was in the line for the bathroom. And he's like, oh my God, I'm going to talk to her. I apologize. This is and that. Are you okay, though? Do you need anything? I can pay your hospital bill. Do you need anything? I'm like, don't even worry about it. I'm fine. And I hung up the phone. Y'all, I have not heard from party promoters since then. So honestly, I don't know. Comment down below how you think about it, but I feel like, you know, they that was his baby mama and they was, you know, they got a child together. Like, even though he say they're friends and stuff like that, she may think otherwise. She may have stronger feelings towards him. And when she seen me, when she seen him invited me over there, I guess she felt the type of way. And I think that's why she stabbed me. Or she probably could have sliced me up because I cut in front of her and she had to use the bathroom. So I don't, I don't know if she was mad about that or if she was mad about her baby daddy. I really don't know. But the whole situation was just crazy, y'all. Comment down below what you think or what you would have did. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time I upload.